All right, so for those of you that have been collecting for a long time, I mean, you might understand what I'm about to say. Um, and you know what? I'll just say it. I mean, there's maybe three or four comics like I really, really, really want. You know, that the, these are the ones I really want. Add to my PC and... You know, they don't come around as often as some other comics do. I mean, Giant Size X-Men 1, uh, X-23 number 1, Delato variant, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 129. I mean, as far as the condition I want, you know, they're, they're kind of hard to, to come by. And, you know, for a reasonable price, you know, I'll, just, I'll say that as well. So, when I get these comics I'm about to show you... You know, I kind of get excited, you know, they're like little, little keys, you know, little miners, you know, little, 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 uh, little additions to the PC that, that I, that I don't mind adding. So, um, yeah, that, that's what it comes down to. So I went to this con today. I was supposed to go Friday actually, and not sure what happened Friday. I was supposed to go yesterday. Uh, oh no, yeah, I went to that LCS where I found that Spider-Man, uh, 299, yeah. So yeah, um, I couldn't go Friday and then yesterday something happened. So I went today, and it was the first annual, uh, NovaCon, I guess they call it, NovaCon. Uh, first annual, and it was pretty nice. It was nice, nice area, nice, nice hotel, you know, nice little vibe they got there, and, you know, definitely, it was like in a little ballroom, and, Maybe had like three or four, maybe five comic book dealers. But it was not a big, big ballroom. I mean, three or four or five. I mean, that was enough. And, and I'm glad I went. I mean, the first dealer I saw had 20 comics for $20 and get 20 for free. And I was like, what? <laughs> I never saw that in my life. I saw a... 10 for 10 for ten dollars get one free buy 10 get five free um yeah i never seen 20 and get 20 free so i was like holy smokes and big dealer and what i'm about to show you is i'm not going to show you the 20 extras i might show you like two or three i guess you know honorable mentions but these were the first 20 I focused on, the, the 20 I found. And yeah, man, glad to add it to the PC. I mean, pretty cool. It was fun. So uh, right here, Marvel premiere number 35, first appearance of the 3D Man. Classic Bronze Age, 30 cent comic, uh, newsstand cover, which is pretty cool. I mean, beautiful condition, near mint. And funny, this character has a lot of history with the scrolls. So, uh, that's how he got his powers, I think. Uh, dealing with the scroll spaceship or what have you. But, uh, in interesting character. First appearance of 3D Man. So, yeah, I found two copies of this in the dollar bin. I can't believe it. New Avengers Affinity number 10. Um, two copies. First appearance of Thane. Uh, Son of Thanos, so uh, definitely glad to have that in the PC. Oh, this is cool, man. So i seen everybody in YouTube world show this in their video. And I guess I'm part of the club now. The Ferris, number three, classic Adam Hughes cover, Frozen, I guess. Found two copies of this for a dollar. Well, actually, if you do the math, I mean, 40, I guess it's 50 cents each or a dollar. It depends on how you look at it. So, two copies of this. Really cool, near mint, beautiful cover. I'm part of the Adam Hughes family there. So, yeah, I have 18, so I thought I'm glad to add 19. Still looking for 17, but Superman, Man of Steel, 19, newsstand cover. Uh, second appearance of Doomsday. Goes well with number 18. Very cool. Found another copy of X-Men number 4. First appearance of Omega Red. Beautiful near mint comic. Classic cover. And yeah, man, I always bump into these. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kickers number 1. 
a part of the Marvel New Universe. So I got a lot of comments and feedback on um, the other videos I'm showing. And, and I got Spitfire number one. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five now I have from the New Universe. So like I was saying, I got, I got a lot of comments from uh, a lot of YouTubers, I guess, that know about this. And first appearance of the New Universe. And I don't know. I guess before... You know, Earth 362 and Earth 554 and alternate, you know, all this, you know, Miles Morales, Peter Parker, all these different worlds. I guess this was the first one that set it off, maybe. But, yeah, all I need is three now, because I guess there were seven. Oh, no, there were eight. So now all I need is three. Mark Hazard, Merc, Night Mask, and Cyphers. So yeah, I found another copy of Action Comics 595, first appearance of Silver Banshee. Um, this sells well on you um, on eBay. Um, it's like my fifth copy, and they sell pretty fast. I uh, guess it's a popular character, so beautiful comic. Um, got this Bloodshot foil cover number one. I don't know, never have it. I have the Eternal Warriors, and I have the the Raw the Ray Z, uh, one. So I just thought I'd add this. I thought I, I thought I read this is one of the early, early comics that have uh, the foil cover. I may be wrong. So yeah, this is funny. I just got this from Walking Jedi, but um, I guess like Spidey fan or was it Dress here? I said you, you got to be patient. <laughs> uh, New Avengers number four, first appearance of Maria Hill from the uh, um, from Shield. And then New Avengers number seven, first appearance of Illuminati. Near Mint, beautiful comics. Glad to have that. Another copy of Thor 344, first appearance of uh, Malekith. Um, that was in the movies. Malekith, pretty cool comic. So yeah, so then I bumped into D. Same dealer. This is this wraps up the 20 right here. And I never seen these in a dollar bin, man. And I have number one, first appearance of Spawn. And I have number nine, first appearance of Angela, both in CG, CGC 9.8. But I found these, man. SPT Killerwood, this is for you, man. Spawn number two. Um, this is, uh, the first appearance of the Violator, I believe. Second appearance of Spawn. So, beautiful near mint. Uh, Spawn number three. Uh, first full appearance of Wanda Blake, I believe. First appearance of Terry and Scion Fitzgerald. So, some, some main characters in the Spawn series. Spawn number four. It's the fourth appearance of Spawn. Pretty cool. Spawn number five. Early, early classic Spawn issues here. Cer Cerebus cameo. First appearance of Billy Kincaid. But he also dies in this issue, I guess. So, interesting there. Spawn number six. First appearance of Overkill. First appearance of Tony Twist. Pretty cool cover. Spawn getting jacked up there. Looks like getting beat up. Spawn number seven. So they didn't have, I couldn't find eight and nine. So spawn number seven, first appearance of um or first published Randy Queen art, which is pretty cool. And that's a cool cover. That's that's cool. And then ten. I'm just gonna try to focus one through ten. I'm not gonna go crazy on this, but uh spawn number ten, another Cerebus appearance and uh guest appearance by Superman. So I don't know what that's about. So yeah, I remember talking to my boy SPT. He said um, he said uh, Spawn early runs or early issues were mass produced. So, but I never seen one through ten in the dollar bins, man. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, maybe thirty, twenty, thirty, forty, but never one through ten. So yeah, all I'm missing is number one. Um, what am I? The newsstand number one raw, and then eight and nine. I guess I'll be looking for to complete my uh, 1 through 10 run. And then, of course, my Marvel Universe, those three issues I'm missing. So then I went to another dealer, 
and he had like a bunch of modern comics and I found this first print Batman 24 never got this when it came out I mean I just throw it in a PC and never look at it again it's all good uh, what's this called the proposal issue so yeah so yeah man glad to have that in the PC so very very happy about that and then I found just real quick I mean the the con was cool and I hope they do a second annual I hope they do another one next year I mean they have some real cool guest appearances I don't watch the show Stranger Things, maybe I need to, but they had Shane in person, I guess the, the lady that plays the character Barb, she was there. Uh, Kelly Hugh, who played in X-Men 2, Letty Deathstrike, she was there. John Wesley Shipp, who was in the Flash show, um, he was there, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So just real quick, I'm not going to show you all these, but that's just going to be my border there. Uh, found this new X-Men 134 first appearance of Kid Omega pretty cool right there and then this was pretty cool number one first appearance of Dark Stars DC Comics number one um, kind of equivalent to your Nova Corps as far as what I know Dark Stars number one I found a first and a second print second print of X-Force number one first print of X-Force number one pretty cool don't mind that. Found another copy of Superman 19, but this is not the newsstand. This is a uh, second appearance of Doomsday, just a regular direct edition, I guess you call it. So that's pretty cool. And these are these are the 20 free, keep in mind. So these are 20 free. So I was just picking and choosing. I'm not going to show you everything, but uh, found, I don't know what, these might be A-OKs, or I might just put them put them with my packaging I don't know um, four copies of this X-Men number one uh, classic Jim Lee I guess this, this is when he started his little X-Men run here uh, which is pretty cool and then last thing uh, I just thought that was a cool cover look at that Wolverine and the last thing that caught my eye, and it's funny, I saw number one, like at a con in the past, I didn't pick it up, and this is number two. But I might make this my thumbnail on YouTube, I don't know, Ragman. <laughs> I never heard that character before. Uh, DC Comics, what's this, 1991, wow. Uh, Ragman, so I'm not sure about that character, I'm going to have to look him up, but that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, that was fun. I'm not sure I'll be digging anytime soon. Actually, correction, this dealer just texted me today. He had a he had a collection come in, and he's out of town, man. He's like a 45, and I would drive away. He texted me and said he has a collection came in and a bunch of dollar bins. So uh, I probably need to make my way down there sometime this week. So as soon as I do that, I'll definitely shoot a video. But, yeah, that was the con today. Uh, NovaCon, pretty cool, well, first annual, nice vibe, they had a DJ, they had music, um, they had like a little food court, I mean it was it was nice, they had some characters, some people dress up as characters, cosplay and stuff, and real nice vibe, so um, that's all I got ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always please take care, or actually collect what you want to collect, but please take care of your comics, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.